uh, I got called to sub on this, this Latin big band and I could read really well, I could play really well. I went on that gig and I played the heck out of that book, I thought. I read the notes down, I, I never missed a, an ending or anything <laughs> like that, I nailed it. And I'm feeling good and at the end of the night, the guy, he comes up to shake my hand, he says, thank you Steve. Um, we won't be needing you tomorrow night. <laughs> he was honest with me. He said, you got the notes. You're a really good musician, but it doesn't feel right. And man, I was crushed. Yeah. And I went home and I thought, wow, so they're bringing in another bass player because I couldn't cut that gig. Mm -hmm. And I thought, this is one of those moments where I've got a choice to make. The, my first choice was like, well, heck with that style of music. I'm not from there, so why should I understand it? But I'm glad I went with choice two, which was every radio station in my car was changed to a Latin music radio station. I said, I'm gonna learn this stuff. I'm gonna learn to play it. I learned the music. And this is a year and a half, two years later, I had gotten a gig with Paquito de Rivera, which was my first major gig out of college. Within six or eight months, we're playing a concert in Miami. And guess who our opening band was? The band you had played with. The band that fired me. <laughs> And the guy, the leader, immediately remembered me because that, there's the bass player that can't play Latin music <laughs> with Paquito de Rivera. I went up to him and he walked up and I, I said, I want to thank you. You know, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be up there. Yes. Because if you'd come to me that night and said, hey man, everything's cool, you know, you're good, but, but you know, we're just going to go with somebody else tomorrow night just because he's available and, and whatever. If you weren't straight up with me and said, man, you just didn't feel right, I said, I would have gone home feeling bad, but I wouldn't have changed every station I had to Latin music. That was a big pivotal moment because from that gig, led to playing with Dizzy Gillespie. And that led to everything else that, that happened. Just being fired on that one gig changed my career in the most positive way. Or I could have taken path A and, and it could have stopped my career.